24th of the 6th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Uh, we're going to start in North Dakota. Uh, this is the Extinction Protocol. Creeping catastrophe. North Dakota's flooding crisis worsens. June 24th, Minot, North Dakota's. Officials in Minot says they've done all they can to protect sewer and water services from the flooding source rivers. <clears throat> Mayor Court Zimmerman said Thursday evening that the dikes have been raised as much as possible around the city sewer left station and can't be raised any higher. Um, videos are coming out where um, definitely levees have been breached in Minot and uh, 12,000 people have been evacuated. Um, they're trying to evacuate a few more, but uh, that's not mandatory. Uh, it's about 400 more people. They're saying they might have to evacuate some more. And of course, videos attached. <clears throat> Newly discovered small asteroid will take close zip past Earth on June 27th. A newly discovered house-sized asteroid will miss Earth by less than 17,700 kilometers on Monday the 27th. That's about 23 times closer than the Moon. The size and location of the asteroid named 2011 MD show should allow observers certain location to take a look at the space rock, even with small telescopes. Now its closest approach will be at 12 at 13:26 UTC on June 27th, according to Skymania. And apparently they just found this yesterday. <laughs> so again, it's a big sky, and uh, it's really hard for them to keep track of everything going on. Extreme weather: the Achilles heel for the U.S. economy. Uh, this is a pretty important piece out of uh, Washington. Everything has its price, even the weather. New research indicates that routine weather events such as rain and cooler than average days can add up to annual economic impact, as much as $485 billion in the United States. Now, of course, these are all BS numbers. Uh, the study led by National Center for As Atmospheric Research found that finance, manufacturing, agriculture, and every other sector of the economy is sensitive to changes in the weather. Well, no kidding. Uh, the impacts can be felt in every state. It's clear that our economy isn't weatherproof, says uh, NCAR economist Jeffrey Lazo, the lead author. Even routine changes in the weather can add up to substantial impact in the United States economy. Now you got to think about uh, <clears throat> how bad the economy is and uh, what all this damage is doing. Um, again, the flooding ongoing, all the tornadoes. Uh, just insane. The fires. Christchurch grapples for a future as tremor intensity increases. Uh, three big earthquakes have happened in Christchurch, New Zealand over the last nine months, um, killing 181 people and leaving many thousands homeless. And um, the aftershocks continue. They're saying pretty much the eastern suburbs had been very badly hit and thousands are without sewage, water, and power. The western suburbs have sustained minor damages and cafes, restaurants, shops, and businesses are thriving. For them, this is like a bonanza, so uh, pretty much half the city is devastated while the other half is kind of picking up the slack. I mean, as far as um, needed services, people got to eat. Greek debt crisis in grave danger of unraveling European financial system, all according to plan, I am sure. Here's a, authorities warn of a lava block and explosion at the Chilean volcano. Um, Santiago, Chilean experts warned Wednesday that a cork of lava could lead to another explosion at the Poihu volcano, which has caused major flight disruptions from Argentina to Australia. Um, seismic activity has declined, with two tremors of magnitude around 2.5 recorded every hour on Tuesday, compared with several hundred of a magnitude of 4 or 5 in the hours preceding the initial June 4th eruption. Uh, but Chile's National Service said this lava flow could plug up and cause pressure to build up underneath, and another big explosion can happen pretty much at any time. Um, so the situation's ongoing. New Zealand geologists say... Well, Littleton Volcano is not awakening because of the quakes. Christchurch, ancient Banks Peninsula volcanoes are not going to erupt, scientists say. Unnamed officials have 
been quoted as saying, continuing earthquake activity around Canterbury, indicating a volcanic eruption is brewing, has been hushed up. Others say the water in Lytton Harbor has heated up as a consequence of the volcanic activity, and in some parts the water is already too hot to touch. Well, that's a reason to be concerned. Some of the country's top earthquake and volcano experts are now determined to quash the gossip before it scares even more people. Nobody panic. Everything's completely under control. Nothing to see here, folks. Move along. Story below. Cracking under the strain, Japan's suicide rates jump after disaster. Insanity continues out of Japan. Florida, get ready for a summer of rain pattern in Tampa Bay area. You can't quite set your right to the pattern just yet, but the summer rains have begun to arrive in a more widespread fashion, which is good news for drought-stricken Florida. Uh, Eritrean in opposition asked for international support as volcano kills seven. Uh, an exiled opposition group on Wednesday called for an international community and in immediately act to provide urgent assistance to the thousands of Eritreans, it said, are affected by the Narbu volcano that erupted over a week ago in the country's south. And again, <clears throat> here's another story. One day they, they need help, the other day they're saying they're getting help, and uh, I'm imagining these people need help. Iceland, eruption at Grimston volcano leaves behind a big lake. After covering a large portion of Iceland with ash in late May 2011, the Grimston volcano in Iceland left behind a small lake filled with meltwater and a hole in the in a in some Viking glacier. Uh, the natural color satellite image was acquired. Blah blah blah. Uh, and they got a satellite picture of the lake and the ash and uh, the new uh, crater in in Iceland. And of course, Iceland's a very active area. Uh, U.S. Platte River in Grand Island nears Flood Strait. The Platte River at Grand Island was 6.1 feet Wednesday morning uh, with flood stage at 6.5 feet according to the Mer Nebraska Emergency Management Agency. They're talking about um, <clears throat> raising, they might have to raise the, the flow rates to 200,000 cubic feet per second. Uh, the National Corps of Engineers saying they don't want to do that, um, but... The way these dams are backing up and just more rain and more rain and more rain. Um, we are not anywhere near uh, close to out of this situation. This should be ongoing at least through August, uh, maybe even September. And that's just conservative measures. Um, I know they've closed <clears throat> our mandatory evacuation on the Iowa side of the Missouri River. Uh, a large swath all along, um, all the way to uh, one of the highways. I forget the number. I think it's uh, 129. And they've got the chili red alert as cork plugs the volcano. And a really great picture there. I've got it posted on my uh, channel page. Flood kills 24 as rain pound North Nigeria City. And uh, 24 people died overnight at when unusually heavy rains flooded a neighborhood in Nigeria's largest northern city of Keno, a local government chief said on Thursday. Dozens of others were injured. 300 to place and about 100 houses destroyed in the densely populated uh, neighborhood of Keno when rains poured and inundated city while residents were asleep. Uh, now they're reporting um, buildings were collapsing and it's just, um, a, just torrential rain um, when they're not really expecting it. U.S. Missouri River crests breaking records of the 1993 floods on the Missouri River. Um, I was here in Des Moines in 93 when we had the floods and we lost our water treatment plant. And um, the madness that was Des Moines in 93, I can only imagine. Um, here it is on the Missouri River once again. And again, like I'm saying, <clears throat> U.S. Army Corps in engineer, um, the river water will remain dangerously high for sea for a foreseeable future, and they're already talking rumors about increasing the outflow rate at that South Dakota um, dams even more than the 160,000 uh, cubic feet per second that they're putting out now, upwards to 200,000, and uh, we'll see uh, how far 
these nuclear power plants, Fort Calhoun and the Cooper power plant. Now I know the, the bladder or the condom around um, Fort Calhoun is supposed to hold back about six feet of water. They're already up to the two foot stage. Um, they're already lying and saying this thing can hold back up to eight feet of water, um, which it's not designed to do at all if you do any kind of homework at all on this bladder. Um, <clears throat> Fort Calhoun is also um, storing 20 years of radioactive waste and it actually was a collection zone for the, the, um, the big mountain, Yucca Mountain or whatever out in <clears throat> Utah that they, they shut down so all that radioactive waste that was due to go to the big storage facility that was shut down is now stuck right there in Fort Calhoun so there is untold amounts of uh, radioactive material stored on site in dry containers <clears throat> so I, th I don't think we're seriously worried about um, the pools too much um, but these bunkers they're they're it's like in a big mausoleum on site and like I reported earlier the buildings already half flooded so uh, we really need to find out what's going on if anybody has anything on that please let us know China flash floods swamping Beijing, dozens affected by subway outages, and uh, <clears throat> many Beijing residents were left stranded by a big thunderstorm that flooded many roads and forced the closure of some subway stations. Um, so um, again, everyday life is being interrupted in China as far as uh, extreme weather and flooding continues. And. Over to the RSOE quick. Um, flooding in Missouri, Nebraska, Iowa, North Dakota, um, China, forest fires in Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, here we go, Colorado. Um, <clears throat> and what else is new? That is about it new on the RSOE. Now I'm going to read some um, headlines off a website called Energy News. I will attach the link below, of course. Idaho paper, EPA's RADNET monitors were shipped out of Boise on Tuesday. Don't expect an update anytime soon. Helicopter makes an emergency landing near the Fort Calhoun new plant while checking if floodwaters had weakened power transmission lines, which is very important to nuclear plants, of course. Uh, the Idaho DEQ administration on, on radiation from Fukushima. I'm not saying it's not a big deal. It is. If you can avoid it, avoid it. And the number four fuel pool and only eight degrees below the boiling point at Fukushima. Four to five more inches of water at Nebraska nuke plant after 7% flow increase from dam Army Corps of Engineers uh, state. <clears throat> and again, they're talking about having to increase the flow even more. Parts of school playground declared off-limits after 0.25 millisieverts per hour detected 200 kilometers southeast of Fukushima. Children and staff must wear hats and gargle regularly. And they're saying everything of, as uh, Lady Gaga promises to promote a safe Japan. And let's go visit. But be sure to wear hats and gargle often. Um, that is about all I have for you today. Of course, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Definitely enjoy it while you can, people. Thanks for all your help. I'll see you next time.